Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Sean from Autopod. So today we'll be installing uh, the GoPro mount on the front of this Rorock 4.0. Uh, so, Rorock customer service, first of all. Um, now, when I ordered this uh, this helmet, uh, they did send me the, the wrong mount. Uh, now this one is uh, is for a snow, uh, snow helmet, I do believe. Uh, the clips are a little bit different. Apparently, screws in somewhere. There's a little little screw hole there. So, quick email to customer services. Yeah, no problem, mate. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll send you another one out. Here it is. Get it open. Make sure it's the right one. Because if it's not, then we're at customer service. They're going to get uh, a bit of a bad bad kicking. Uh, camera mount. It's instructions. Something else going on here. No else in box. There's no alcohol wipes, um, anything like that in uh, in the packaging from Rorock. But it says uh, accessories cam mount, as you can see on there. Uh, compatible with the Atlas 2.0 and Berserker. So obviously the helmets are universal. So it does say uh, to install it. Prepare. Prepare your helmet by cleaning the surface of the helmet's chin guard with the sanitising wipes provided. That's all well and good, Rorok, but you haven't provided any. Uh, anyway, uh, peel off the protective film. Just make sure there's none in here, because there's definitely nothing in there. See if we're missing anything in here. That's a, a, a camera mount. Just come with 3M tape on the back of it, and then that's a little uh, little nut for the uh, for the back of that. So there is no alcohol wipes involved. Um, double check the wrapper in that come with it. No, absolutely nothing. So. It is a bit, a bit of a bad do when, uh, when obviously they give you instructions to do it. Uh, it also says clean with the wipes provided, and it doesn't have any. Bit disappointing, but uh, that's not not an issue. Um, be careful not to contaminate the area with dirt or grease. Obviously, that uh, that'll compromise. Uh, so I think I'll be using some Sugaru as well, uh, which does mount it a little bit, a little bit stronger, a little bit firmer than the than the. Uh, and 3M provided that's on there as well, but I might give the uh, 3M a chance. See what uh, see what that's saying. Um, it's always best to heat this up as well uh, before you stick it on. So heat it up, stick it on. Gets a little bit nice and tacky. Uh, like the position of the mount on underneath of the chin vent area on your helmet, ensuring the position in uh, ensuring position ensuring positioning. Can't read. Ensuring it is straight and level before applying pressure to secure the desired location. Okay. Leave the camera mount for 24 hours. It will strengthen the mount's attachment to the to the helmet. Always ensure the mount is securely fastened before use. Fasten the camera to the camera mount. Make sure the thumb screw is tightly fixed and the mount is firmly connected. Note, Rorot does not hold responsibility for loss or damage of the, uh, to the device that has been fastened to this product. Rorot does not advise the use of this product on any other helmet other than its own. That makes sense. However, the the, the alcohol wipe situation is it's, it's really annoyed me to be honest because like, the packaging is nice, customer service again, sound. Uh, I had a bit of an issue with the first, obviously the first... Um, uh, with, the, with the first mount, they sent the wrong mount. Uh, yeah. Anyway, well, let's crack on. Let's install it, and uh, I'm pretty sure I've got some alcohol wipes knocking about somewhere. So let's get on, get installing it, and uh, we'll go from there. So found some alcohol prep wipes, and uh, just going to give us uh, give us a quick wipe.
wipe off all the uh, the grease, the dirt, the whatever else, any other contaminants that'll obviously get into uh, get into stopping uh, the 3M tape. So that's done. Let's peel off the. Uh, 3M tape. B. There we go. 3M tape off. Some firm on there. So that's obviously what it looks like once it's on. Which, to be honest, when, even when you take the, uh, when you, even when you take it off, the uh, if you know once you take the uh, the actual, uh, once you take the. Uh, that the GoPro off, things like that. It's still not actually like bad on, on this one. So this one is a Raw Rock um, 4.0 uh, liquid carbon. So I've taken the uh, the visor off just because uh, I just installed the pack top video. Click down there to uh, to watch that video. Uh, I'm going to be chucking on the uh, the tinted visor as well. But yeah, uh, overall I'm pretty pretty impressed with the uh, with the sort of angles, the build quality, and stuff like that. Customer service uh, uh, so far has been bang on, but like I said, uh, you know, with, with just that, just the alcohol wipe, it's like, yeah, it's only a little thing, but after they sent the, the wrong mount and then, you know, you get the alcohol wipe as well, it's, it, it begins to, you, you kind of feel less, uh, a little bit less of a customer. Now, I'm not moaning, um, like, I, I'm 100% I'm not moaning. But you spend all this money on a Raw Rock helmet, um, and and it just seems like they're just missing the little bits. But yeah, that's just my opinion. So that's going to drive twenty four hour. Um, again, I'm probably going to put some bit of Sugaru um, uh, just around it, just hold it in place a little bit, a little bit firmer. So this is the Sugaru stuff. So I'm just going to put it. Uh, I think we're just going to put it just around it, just to uh, hold it in place a little bit, a little bit firmer. So again, I'm, I'm not going to use a lot of it, uh, but apparently it's like like blue tap material. It's like a moldable glue. It's not. Uh... So find that dabbing it with your finger is a lot easier than uh, than the sort of spreading it. So that's it guys, if you uh, like the video, uh, leave us a comment, smash that subscribe button. Cheers guys, see you on the next one.